This episode, we're gonna see some amazing, beautiful scenery. We're also gonna have some delicious food at Taco de Mexico. And we're gonna walk it all off at the Elfin Forest. So come run away with us to Morro Bay. So today we're going to explore Morro Bay. The first time we heard of Morro Bay was with friends of ours. Yep. The Johnsons. Who you'll Hi, see Johnsons. when we get to our Salt Lake City episode. Right. So we're out here. It's a little windy. So hopefully you can hear me. Probably not. <laughs> but we're having some fun. We're enjoying the day. Uh, just trying to get some fresh air. We've been cooped up in the coach for a couple days. And uh, just enjoying ourselves. Morro Bay is really cute. It's got a little kind of seaside village uh, feel. Um, fishing town. Fishing town, yeah. yeah. There's some great restaurants that were recommended to us. Um, I think the one thing that's really nice is, especially from that little town strip area, mm -hmm. is you get a lot of views of the Morro Rock, yes. which is kind of the predominant feature in the area. Um, obviously, there's fishing boats and um, places to kind of walk around, nature areas, and the views are just spectacular. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's an amazing little place. There's a lot of people the day we went, um, but you can do you can just walk along the water. Uh, you can do some fishing. Um, we saw people surfing yeah. in the area, so there's a lot of fun things to do right in that area. Yeah, especially if you just want to get back to kind of the seaside nature area. Right, exactly. We really had a good time. I agree. <laughs> it was a good recommendation for us. All right, everybody. We have Drew testing out his. So this is point of view, then I can put it in kind of a follow mode. Testing out his new camera equipment to go with his iPhone. How do you like it, Drew? It's excellent. It has all different kinds of modes. So this is point of view. Then I can put it Whoa. in follow mode. So I can kind of follow how we're going. Nice. Yeah. And everybody will be able to see what this looks like. And it's nice and steady. Nice. So many cool outdoor adventures and also areas that if your dog is a swimmer you can go with the dog that's right we were uh not quite sure on this uh dog we didn't know if it was a seal <laughs> yeah, or first, <laughs> something we else we had to wait and kind of zoom in to see what was going <laughs> on um but we just it's a great area to just kind of hike around and see nature i mean there was um hawks or eagles i can't remember what yeah, was up on top of the rock yeah there was a nest exactly some guy was pointing it out to for others to see yeah you're on video drew sounds good so how's uh, your day going today excellent wonderful it's nice to have the sun out and uh getting to explore we're having a great time had a few crazy days of rain here in california yep but, but that's okay you take the it's good. life on the road. Exactly. You take the good and you enjoy the fun amount of sunshine that you can have whenever possible. Look at that. Even better angle right okay. there. Let's try better. Let's go this way. Uh, Ooh. Oh, oh. Ah, Yay. There we are. Wonderful. If, and we just learned how to control this thing. It would be so much better. <laughs> 
beautiful views you just have to be very careful because there's all sorts of wildlife okay there are squirrels and I wish uh, Drew had gotten some more footage of this I think they would have came right up and crawled up my leg if uh, I had food in my hand it was a little I don't nuts. know that they needed food I think they were ready to crawl up your leg anyways just to say hi just to say how do you do <laughs> these are the squirrels they were feisty and they couldn't even just lay out in the sun without bothering each other <laughs> So, uh, it was fun. We love getting recommendations for food in the area uh, that we're visiting from other people. So please go to our website, yes. uh, send us a message either via text or email. Yep. Um, say, hey, if you're headed this direction, you don't have to know where we are, but you just say, if you're headed this direction, if you're going to... Mackinac in Michigan make sure you check this out we always right. love recommendations and this was a little bit up from Morro Bay it was right off the highway right. that you kind of hit the city streets to head toward Morro Bay oh yeah and it was a delicious recommendation it was for sure Taco de Mexico uh, wasn't very crowded as you can see Anne holding down our table in case there was a mad rush you never um, know you never know <laughs> but you go inside first and order um, it was an extensive menu, but we were able to find some dishes, including my old standby yes. of a burrito. Um, <laughs> but very nice guy. Really, you know, what they're not spending money on ambiance, they're spending on food. This was a great quesadilla. And then these little street ta tacos were just delicious. Uh, so amazing. Um, and then there's my burrito, and it was gigantic. Huge. Um, but it was, <laughs> it was delicious. It was very big very filling um the tacos that we had one was carne asada right and one was just ground beef right i think so yeah yeah I, yeah i think so or chicken chicken oh mm. whatever you get it's gonna be it good. Was good um little street tacos though yeah um prices were very, very reasonable. reasonable especially for that area yeah and when we got the food I, he told me it wasn't a big burrito and that would that would have fed three yeah um because I took wrapped up the other half. <laughs> so, um, but definitely a good recommendation and you should visit it too. Yes, and it was nice that it was open during yep. kind of the craziness going on in the world. So it was nice to actually still be able to go out and have some food. Yeah, it was, it was fortunate. Uh, you could even eat inside the restaurant. Right. We, it was a beautiful day, so we did. Planes, of course, they know we're filming. <laughs> yeah you could eat inside uh it was a beautiful day so we decided to eat outside and uh that's all i have to say about that yeah it was good <laughs> then we went over to the elfin forest was not too far of a drive um this was a great little nature area i don't think many people know about it we uh yeah, we just done a lot of research on the moro bay area right and this was one of the top things that people were recommending to do so we're really curious to see what it included and it's just a cute little path yeah it's a it's a wood boardwalk that yeah. walks all around they have a little map that tells you what you're looking at with uh, numbers on the ground right um, it's a lot of scenic overlooks as well but it's just a lot of nature and the mm -hmm. one thing that they have that's really unique to the area we'll see later on as we walk through it What's it smell like? Like sage. Ooh. Clears your sinuses a little bit too. Excellent.
This grove of trees is where they get their name because they don't grow very tall. They just kind of grow up to a certain height and spread out. Mm -hmm. So kind of like an elfin tree. Provides um, a lot of shade. A lot of shade, but it was such a unique thing. And Good you do luck have to, to Drew. You do have to, to watch it. your... <laughs> if you're tall like me, over six feet, you, you got to be careful. <laughs> It was a great little nature area. Yeah, um, it really was. Those trees were just, they were definitely worth going to see. I, I think part of this whole journey is going to see things that in the course of your regular life, you're not going to come across most likely. Oh, yeah. Um, and we highly recommend Morro Bay. We really appreciate the recommendation to us. Right. And um, we, we want everybody out there to, you know, if you're in the area, that these these are new things maybe you didn't take a look at but now you can see on our video and hopefully you can, your family can go and enjoy absolutely um and the food oh Perfect. the food amazing so um thank you if this is the first time you're here please uh, feel free to subscribe right uh, let us know what you think if you like it give us a thumbs up if you don't like it just let me know why <laughs> um if you want to make a comment um, about what you saw today. We'd love to hear that as well. And feel free to go to our website and give us recommendations for future cities. Yes, and if you want to be notified for future videos, you can go ahead and hit the bell. Absolutely. So uh, we are going to leave you with just a little blooper. Um, Anne and I were uh, testing new gear and Anne, um, I'm going to hold it up right now. There's this little remote, as you can see, based on my hand. It's not very big. Yeah, it's tiny. Uh, about a quarter and a half worth of size and if you drop it, it causes some issues yeah it's gonna be a little hard to use it if it's on the ground somewhere so enjoy so. this and we'll see you the next time thanks guys Yet, that's true when i noticed so maybe this is i gotta get down because you like to do like maybe there you maybe, go. Hey, maybe, there hey. you go. maybe this will be part of the uh blooper reel exactly. sounds good